So you want to know how to maximize your hair growth. I'm going to show you. Right, well the first thing to bear in mind when you think and consider um, hair is that it's predominantly based on genetics. There's a lot of things that can hinder your growth, but ultimately your hair grows as fast as it wants or can grow for the most part. Uh, for most of us, you know, we don't have a biotin um, deficiency. Biotin is uh, pretty much vitamin B. It's used for your body in a lot of ways, but it's more prominently known for what well, has a direct correlation to hair growth. It can be found in a lot of foods, so you don't really need to supplement it. You can find it in organ meats, vegetables, nuts, seeds. But the main thing is diet. So you need to make sure you want to eat well balanced well, well balanced diet. You can even do your research on what exactly on exactly what foods have you know more biotin if you want to try that. Or you could even um, experiment try a biotin supplement to see it works for you. And that's worked for a lot of people and yeah let me know if it works for you. I haven't tried it but yeah Next one on the list is water. So with water, <laughs> sorry. So with water, make sure you drink a lot of that. So what water essentially does is flush out toxins and stimulate follicles. So the more water you drink more likely that your hair can actually use most of the potential for growth. Obviously, I think there's, well, I'm not entirely sure, <laughs> but it's recommended to drink at least two liters of water a day. I, I, I don't know if you drink five. Don't quote me on that. Next thing you need to keep in mind is patience. I feel like a lot of time with hair, with hair growth, you've been checking up on it. You know, every day, every week or so, um, you're going to, it's going to be very hard for you to notice any growth, or you might just think you see things. The best thing is to distract yourself, you know, keep it up, and then just go about your day to day, just live life, you know, find a sport, do a lot of things that just distract your mind, and keep blood, for, uh, keep blood flowing, you know, blood circulation, promote a healthy scalp, and therefore, hair follicles, hair follicles. <laughs> One more thing I forgot to add in the video, oils. So if oils is hit and miss. I feel like it's not completely necessary, but for most of us, especially us black people, we've become, well our scalp has become accustomed to adding extra oil into our hair. Um, you know, your scalp naturally, naturally produces the oils you need for your head. See, although our scalp produces all these natural oils that you know, all our body needs. The, the water we put in our hair, especially if it's hard water, hard water is basically water with a lot of minerals in it, and it strips. It doesn't strip, no, sorry. It dries out the hair. And depending where you live, sometimes the water's harder. For me, I have pretty hard water. But in the summertime, um, I always just um, wash, not wash, yeah, I always just drench my hair every day. So I never really have a problem with my, uh, my um, scalp being dry. And even with the past one, I haven't used any oil. But for the most people who use oil, I would recommend um, hmm, either jojoba oil or castor oil. Because from my knowledge, that's just, that's just yeah, people have been saying. And from what I use, that's the one I use, and it just works very well. It leaves my hair feeling very lubricated. But also, you know, you want to put that on damp hair and onto the scalp. Not an not 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 an excess amount. I'd say go every other day three or four days depending on how itchy your scalp is the problem is when you put oils in your hair and when you put water in your hair is that the oils go in your face and can make you break out as you can see it's been a month since i have been using your water we need it the skin's looking good so i'm going to continue for this for this season because summer you don't really need it you know it's very it's very warm you sweat and you, you know moisturize your hair winter that's that's a trying time i don't know if i can actually put oils in my hair winter but we'll see we'll see um so 
yeah, as you can see, my hair has dramatically changed in a month or so. I think it's about six weeks. Weeks. I'll show a video or picture here, probably in a thumbnail. But yeah. Also, um, the reason why it appears my, my hair has appeared to grow so much is because, sorry, I'm at a stage where my hair is locked. So um, uh, I feel like this just doesn't apply to people very early on and people were very unsure but your hair grows your hair your hair is in different your hair your hair your hair develops in different stages um right now it's currently on like i, th I think it's past the budding stage and now it's on like a growth stage so it puffs up and for the most part it keeps most of its girth <laughs> girth for this it'll probably um shrink a bit as time goes on but now it's just focusing on dropping the weight stairs so it's dropping just that's the dramatic change and also um, I've got a shower over here's fair that's no, not been damp but fairly damp but yeah so there's a 360 on my hair right left side right side left back top again also um, yeah I've got the side shades slightly I don't know if I'm gonna um, grow it out. I haven't decided yet. Uh, it's probably it's, I don't know actually. The only reason why I shaved the sides early on is because um, my glasses. When I when I had like a dreadlock there, and I put my glasses in it and like almost like f um, thread through the dread and then just kind of like break hairs and stuff. So it wasn't very functional. So um, yeah. Also I got um, this. Right now, it's at a point my hair covers all, all the, like, the sides are shaved, so um, I'm gonna just leave it for a bit until it gets to the point where I actually tie it all up. But we'll see. Um, yeah, if you have any um, discussions, questions, or anything, just let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, man, stay safe, enjoy life. See you later.